we're kind of both even. What's up, Kyo? Good morning. Morning, 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 morning. Right. Very early, yes, Dan. Yes, Dan. Oh, all right. Um, thank you. Yeah, I was playing Resident Evil Seven last night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, it was. Did well, you hear me? Or... Yeah. Well, and then when he came up and told me how how scary it is, or how yeah, it's like intense. It is. It's like these. Uh... Yeah, let me pull the chat there. What oh, you can see. A tray. See if I can kind of show you the gist of it, but it's pretty much like how's it going? A crazy infected family. I don't even know what. It's just like this virus that takes over, like mutant. <laughs> I don't know if you streamed last night. Uh, I did, I did, but you're all you're all good. You're all good. Welcome everybody. Trey, Kale, How, E Bud, E Bud. E -bud. <laughs> so this is episode three, Men's Mental Mondays. We were talking last night, Mom and I. And talking about my first computer. Mm. So I don't know how old everybody is on here. Not old. Oh. As, as you can see. As you, <laughs> as, you, as you can tell. You're nerfing me. Um, uh, so when we That's got married, a double chunk chocolate cookie. <laughs> 37 years ago, ah! it was uh, Amiga. My Amiga 1000. So, and I can't remember, I don't know, maybe you guys will know. I think there was like 64 bytes of memory on a good computer in those days, the, like the Apple 64. Like uh, megabytes? I think, no, I, I'm not, well, I'm not sure. I think it was bytes. And, and like, in those moo, days, moo, we moo, used to moo. freak out. Like, moo, 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 like, moo. You know, everybody who, like, the very first computers and stuff, like, it was 256K. K. I'm sure it was K. 156K. Yeah. So because that's kilobytes or something. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, our first computer games like you. So you're talking about Resident Evil. How scary it is. Oh boy, Chad. I just love VP. Mm. I remember um, staying up literally nights on end, sneaking out of my mom and dad's house during school nights for weeks on end to go play computer games at my buddy's place. Because in those days, rare you had to have a lot of money to buy a computer. It was like, the Richie Rich that had yeah, computers? Yeah, that was in the late 70s. Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, and, and it was, uh, shit, it was like a, a, like a, a dungeon game. Uh, the, the original. Oh, like geez. top over? Like, or a top down? Like, uh, oh, no, no, it was no, like, no. we'll say first no, person, no, no, but anyway, no. there was like nothing but writing. So the whole game was text. And it was monochrome, oh. right? It was green, green, green on green, green print on a green screen. Yeah. Yeah. And every game, anything you did on a computer in the 70s, you always had to start in DOS. The way you didn't come up as Windows. Right? So you turn your computer on and it didn't pop up as Windows, it popped up as, uh, as DOS. So if you wanted to go into Windows, you had to go slash win. Oh, fuck. Yeah. You had to manually do the operating yeah. system. Or slash, into yeah, slash into the game. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, that was huh. it. And we used to freak. We'd play computer games uh, until 2, 3, 4 in the morning, 5 in the morning on school nights. And then I'd sneak back out of his house, walk two or three blocks back to my house, go to bed for a half an hour, pretend to my parents that I slept there all night. Hmm. And do that for days on end and go to school just exhausted. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. So some things have never changed? No, no. Other than it was just the most... What the, what the hell? Oh, it doesn't matter what the game was. I can't believe... I can't remember. It was like the biggest game in the world, but back in what year would it? Be? 78, 79, maybe know. 80. I don't know. Trey asked if you ever played Atari. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I did play Atari. Yeah, you betcha. Oh. Uh, app, like I say, the first computer I ever saw was an Apple 64. And at that time, that was like the most expensive computer you could buy. And it was my friend's dad who bought it for the kids and they had a lot of money and they bought I I mean that in those days that computer was worth probably six grand. Really? Yeah. Uh had the uh three and a half inch floppy disks. Ooh. Yeah. Big floppies. Oh yeah. Like like love a big floppy. Yeah, big floppy. And 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 you know, would 
band. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it, it was the most amazing thing in the world. Six grand is crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty pretty amazing back in those days. I think I'm gonna double my computer. Well, <laughs> I guess that's no monitors or anything, but yeah, monitor. Oh my god, the monitor was half the size yeah. of that one because they were like the the wide backs and everything. Like they yeah, were, like, and it was part full... of the computer. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, we had those in. We're not those, but we had like the big old Mac computers, like in, oh. in elementary school. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they took up like. Oh, that right, because the they made it, yeah. Yeah, Mac yeah. hadn't changed, boy, in a long time, but... We played a game called, like, Boom or something. Oh. But, and, like, dinosaur racing and shit. We had a bit more, obviously, like, yeah. technology. Yeah. Because that was just, what, 2008, eight nine. Yeah. We were pretty happy when there was any kind of animation, and the animation, like I say, everything was text, and maybe once every 20 minutes to half an hour, there'd be a little animation, like, a, like made stick-framed. Oh. Empty, not like not really colored in, and the sound would be the uh, input sounds of your keyboard, and they would just drag those like kind of like a drag out a sound of a key. Oh, yeah, and that was the only sounds like a sound of a monster would be like sound like just a uh, one pitch key. Yeah, yeah, and mm -hmm. we would jump up and down in excitement. <laughs> <laughs> from serious. the sound of a keyboard well yeah, i guess yeah. yeah i mean it's still like technology it was right? imagination right yeah except that the story was on front of you and say what do you want to do uh to this monster do you want to kill it do you want to feed it do you want to run away and yeah. then you know so it's whatever. more like story like choice based yeah so it's kind of like yeah. D, &D you playing kind of like dungeon D and dragons digital D, D. yeah and and uh anyway nonetheless yeah that was it and then when, uh, when we got married, I bought an Amiga 1000, which I'm going to presume had 640K or something, a memory. I don't even know. Ome Omega? Yeah, Ome o -A like Omega. Like Omega? Omega. A-M-I-G-A 1000. It was like kind of like the gaming computer at the time. This is that? Yep. I mean, that's a gaming computer if I've ever seen one. Oh, mm -hmm. they can't see it. That's a gaming computer. Commodore Amiga. I mean, look at that thing. Yeah, I was in heaven when I bought <clears> that. <throat> yeah, top of the line right there, I'd say. Yeah, it was... It was... R-Type. Hmm. Yeah. 1985, I bought that. A couple of years later than that. Maybe I need one of these to stream on. <laughs> we didn't even have... Uh, we couldn't play with anybody because it didn't have that ability then. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like with fashion streams on, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just a reminder, boys. So this is Men's Mental Mondays uh, where we shoot the shit pretty much, have our morning coffee on stream. But all in the, all in the faith of mental health, just kind of talking, hanging out, two dudes chatting. Right on. That's really about it. That's where the conversation get... starts. So yeah, that's about it. You guys, so. any got any questions for an old man? That let me know. I'll try and find one. Old <laughs> geezer, looking a look in your book. I turned sixty uh, two weeks ago. So yeah, so sixty years ancient. Yeah, I feel like uh, old as a rock. The rock is probably almost sixty two. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how old that some bitch is, but uh, and then also, like I said, do donations all go to men's mental health charity as well. So, Mo Mental Monday, Mo Amber, what's up, five? Um, well, we'll see what the news is, I guess. Thank you, Drake. I guess we'll see what's happening in the news as long as it doesn't leak anything. But... Leak, what do you mean? Like, give away any kind of personal information. Oh, I see. Sometimes oh. websites are silly with their information. Or oh. With their... Um, uh, oh, the way they... Geo-tracking and gotcha. shit. Yeah. Like uh, targeted ads and stuff. Oh. They're like, oh, let me just ping your address. and. But... Um, take over more space on the pipeline. No. Nothing much happening. Just talking about inflation and the usual shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Inflation isn't even like a, a storyline anymore. No, it's just like the regular day, I guess. Yeah. 
I think all the hurricanes have subsided since we last talked about that. Because the last time we did this, they didn't hit. And now it's kind of over and done with. You talking about the hurricanes? Or the Florida hurricanes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they obviously, it was... It went pretty well for, for the home yeah. team. Even play hockey. And if you did, in. what was the highest level? Uh, yeah, I played hockey uh, through my youth. But be honest with you, it was never that good. So, um, uh, highest would be like a short stint on rep hockey, which I don't even know what you'd call that nowadays. Still rep hockey. Oh, is it? In oh. Canada, we call it okay. rep hockey or whatever. But yeah, I coached the boys, old William and his brother. I coached them hockey. Yeah. And I've always been on the ice. So I've been on the ice since I was probably, well, since I was old enough to walk almost. I learned to mm -hmm. skate on a creek. In Winnipeg, Manitoba, at like 25 below, you know the old story. And the creek was down a steep, it was actually down, say, 20 feet down on each bank. And it was, we learned to skate in between uh, cattails and reeds and, hmm. yeah. So dodging everything. Yeah, that dodging everything. Yeah. Frozen every, into the ice. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that's how I learned to skate. I remember that. I remember skating on a couple creeks, but I hate how bumpy that creeks are. Classic. Yeah, it is classic. But, yeah, they're bumpy. Yeah. They're bumpy. And then, like, you know, you'd skate into a reed and your skate would, would stick. Yeah. So you had to learn to skate, lifting a skate suddenly or whatever. I mean, there's nobody doing ballet or figure skating, really. I mean, there was some of the girls doing a little bit of twirls or whatever, but. You're skating just to survive. Yeah. And you'd play shinny hockey on the creek, um, although it was dark. But you'd have the street lamps from up top. I remember on that one anyway. And then uh, eventually, like, it got so cold in the winters in Canada. A typical story. But um, sometimes it was the parents uh, who maybe the kids didn't play hockey as much, whatever. But they'd wear their skates on the street in front of the house. Because you could get away with that at 40 below. Your streets basically stayed frozen most of the winter. People skated, like, down the street, you mean? Uh, they skated, like, uh, where we kind of played hockey out front of our home or whatever because you'd end oh. up shoveling it. And as long as uh, they didn't put sand and... Um, Rocks and shit? Salt. Yeah. They didn't salt the streets or whatever. Then but you sometimes just... you'd sneak them out. Wow. Yeah. That's but pretty impressive. You'd fuck up your blades. Oh, what? mess up your blades. Oh, we can say oh, fuck. I, I say a lot worse. It'd mess up your hockey blades, of course, if there's pebbles down, but... Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. We never really had, we're in like British Columbia, we don't really have any outdoor rinks or anything. But yeah, that's the sad part. A little bit too of warm here. Road hockey. Yeah, too warm. Yeah. It would last like not that long, but it would not last that long at all. Yeah. But I, I assume Manitoba is kind of the place for it. It was great. I mean, that was every night. If it was freezing cold out, you'd know what to do. Well, that never happened because it was always road hockey out front under a street lamp. Hmm. Yeah. And then this, you know, be freezing cold and dark and the street lamp and the snow would be falling under the street lamp. Oh, man, that was that was heaven on earth. <laughs> you know, you'd be cold toes and. Yeah, it would be great. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Makes winter a little less uh, sucky. Yeah. Because yeah. I fucking hate winter. <laughs> winter sucks. And we wow. don't even have bad winter here, but I'm just like... Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Five star. <laughs> now, are you talking physical pain from the cold? Oh, you hate the cold, too? Uh, I just... I love the cold. It just... I don't know. It makes coffee taste way so much better because you come in from the freezing cold and... Yeah, and then, you know, it, a warm house, oh, man, when you yeah. come in from that cold, nothing feels better. Yeah. Yeah, it you makes know? houses that much cooler, or that much better. Oh, yeah, but yeah. Easier to yes, warm up and cool down. Yeah. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, now that we live by a lake in the summer, probably pretty easy to cool off oh yeah i guess so yeah. board also lives on a fucking lake but oh really yeah oh cool cold and dry over humid and hot yes i agree 
Definitely cold and dry. For me. But we're not human here. No, we're not human. No. Yeah. Do you have anything for five or? Five. I've been going through hell. Oh, geez. I'm sorry to hear that. And I feel like there's no light. At are you, um, are you going through, uh, five? Um, are you going through kind of a, um, high anxiety time in your life or, or do you, uh, or do you suffer from, um, you know, that, uh, pain all over your, your body? Um, well, from what I know, five, get a collapsed lung too. Oh, and shit. yeah. And kidney stones. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Me and him were matching. Wow. Really? That's you know. amazing. Holy mm. crap. How old's five? My age. Jesus we're like, Christ, you guys. We're both 24 kidney stones and, and collapsed lung, but. Oh, constantly have anxiety. Uh, oh, jeez. Is your lung collapse from uh, like, a, like a, a genetic issue? It was back last year. I'm still hurting. Oh, my God. Mm hmm. TXS. Um, TXS. Forzy, hi. What's up, Forzel? Forzel. Oh, sorry. That's all good. My apology. Forzy, Warzy. Um, five, do you do any physical exercise? And I don't mean lifting weights. I mean, like, walk, go for a walk, or play any sports at all. Fuck walking. Since you're... <laughs> all my homies hate walking. Holy, smoked heavily for years. Wow, you must have smoked heavy. I mean, a collapsed lung. That's some serious business. Mm-hmm. I hope you stopped. I was saying that that's like my good friend that was a heavy smoker. He had a heart attack, but I assume it's unrelated. Oh, German. Yeah. I assume it's unrelated, but. Well, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you guys, if William told you, but I was a coroner. Um, so I, I don't know if you know what a coroner is, but you should. But so medical examiner in some states or provinces up here. And then uh, in others like, I don't know, down there, California, whatever, uh, up here is only two provinces that have coroners. So I got to see a lot of people who, well. Weren't alive. Weren't alive. <laughs> a lot of dead people. And they were from smoking or, you know, certain things. So um, if you have any questions regarding that, I can. Without, I mean, you could probably like. Is there a... I can't give any medical advice because I can only tell you how dead people work <laughs> or don't. Tell them if they're dead or not? Yeah, I can only tell you if you're dead. Yeah, he's but dead. If you have if you have physical results of doing something like smoking and that, then you know, well, you know you got to stop. Is there a... When you were a coroner, was there like a, a death that you thought was like... Preventable? No, no, not preventable, but just like really something like wow, that was gnarly. Like that was like eesh. Oh, <laughs> without too much detail, but is there like not a bad one? Just something like a unique. Yeah, situation. I mean there was. Uh, I mean there was uh, a lot of yeesh ones. That's for sure. Uh, not like dark, but just like no, 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 no. You know. I, I, I mean, uh, I mean we had a lot with, um, of course maggots i mean that's always people's kind of no oh, once they die whatever yeah. Yeah. yeah once people you know <coughs> see maggots on uh what was that sound yeah uh, just a random oh. they can play random sounds for oh right forever yeah maggots on a body can bother people some people um depending on how mm -hmm. you know but that was obviously a fairly common thing you know like one i was thinking of was like there was a guy that had the wall fall on him oh yeah, it wasn't funny, but yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, really. but that's a very like unique. That was very unique. Yeah, there like, was there was lots of those. I mean, we had a uh, so there was a guy who he was in a construction site. Um. Yes. Yeah, board. Yeah, yeah. A lot of substances going through him. Um, um, that that is uh, something <clears throat> we were talking about when this Liam thing happened and. With the cocaine and heroin and stuff like that, if you OD on it, um, don't worry about the chat. Yeah, the uh, uh, you can get the feeling of being 
way overheated and and also major anxiety attack and you want to run and you bail through a window and in his case I don't know if that's what it is but he could have bailed out out through his balcony and over the and over the end without even knowing what he was doing so Trying to cool off cool off yeah <laughs> darn shame um and a lot of drugs yeah apparently from what I've heard I haven't seen anything about it but you know those kind of things are are uh so anybody who knows anybody doing uh, drugs and thinking they don't do anything or cause any harm, let me tell you, um, they do obviously a lot, you know. It can easily go sideways. Yeah, and if you suffer from anxiety and depression, you know, last thing you want to do is drugs and even alcohol. Well, they both amplify it in different ways. Yeah, so alcohol is a depressant, and I've uh, gone to many deaths uh, where you'll see someone who's passed away from alcohol you may not call it suicide because it wasn't immediate but in reality it was a suicide because it's a long drag out process of trying to kill yourself just not immediately so you don't eat you just drink and these people suffering from depression anxiety and all sorts of things um you know i've seen them when they have letters from their family uh all around their room saying how much the family loves them but yet that person who died felt like they had no love at all. Mm. It's They were so sick, they couldn't understand that. Mm. Um, so, yeah, that was always sad when you saw uh, people die alone, even though they had many people who cared about them. I guess that's a lot of, like, celebrity, you know? Yes, celebrities. Where they, where they feel alone, even though they have yes. all of that support. Yeah. Sorry, you hear that, Borg? Yeah. Drug overdose. Well, I, you know what? If it wasn't drug overdose, it could have been, you know, would have been another way. And it's a horrible thing. It, 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 it hurts a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Pray, a lot of alcohol, family. Yeah. That's good for you. That's the best way to do is stay away from it if you can. Especially if it runs in the family. I'm not quite sure about the genetic if it runs in genetically or not, um, that's a controversy right now, or always has been too. Like a habitual... Alcoholism. Alcoholism? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, some people have the uh, preponderance of, of wanting alcohol. Mm hmm Oh my gosh. That's horrible. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, oh Kale. Kale? I, his, no. Yeah, we call him Kale. Kale. Jeez, I'm really sorry to hear that, Kale. And my friend, he is a year older than me, and he's 14, does mushrooms, weed, vape. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. And the vapes, too. I mean, even something like vaping is fucking people up, and they just don't admit it. A word. Five-star test tube, or even to breathe. Oh. Got it. Well, good for you, Five Star. That's exactly what it is, is those who need you. See, uh, you, know, you know, you talk about men's health and stuff, and uh, I mean, once you get the alcoholism and the drugs and stuff on the table, you know, we all know things, and by the looks of it, we all have some exposure to it. So, yeah. I mean, it's horrible. One way or another, it affects somebody. Yeah, it's just... Uh, and the thing is, men are just generally not as open to dealing with it. Well, I think that's why drugs and alcohol are so popular. Yeah, for sure it is. Because it's easier right? for a guy to just do that than sit here and talk about it or, yeah. you know, or reach out to somebody or, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, generally, historically, that's what bartenders were. You know, you'd, your alcoholic would go down to the pub and get drunk and tell the bartender about his life. And the bartender would do his best to say, I don't care. It's all right, Johnny, here's another one. Oh, yeah. You know, or whatever, right? <laughs> that I was usually care. how it went. Yeah. A lot of people, when I was bartending, a lot of people would tell me their problems and issues. Or the thing is, you don't know what's real and what's not. And you don't know who's looking for attention, who's not. So it's kind of true. As a bartender, you're kind of nullified towards it, unless you know them like on a more serious level or something. But yeah. still, you know, you're you're kind of just there feeding their addiction or whatever, feeding their, their habit. 
So it's kind of weird. Yeah, that's a tough place to, uh, to be in. Uh, wow, good for you, five star. Uh, you know, I think I grew up with people who did daily. Who grew up with. I mean, I knew a lot of people who did daily weed, and and I don't know. I always thought it it had an impact on people. I don't care what other people say. Mm -hmm. Long term exposure has some certain impacts on your brain. And then siblings getting laced with fentanyl. Mm -hmm. Holy right, man, that's horrible. Fentanyl, that's a whole new animal. Fentanyl was not a big thing when I was corner, so I didn't have fentanyl deaths. Um, that came in after I had uh, retired from that. Crazy how recent it, it's it is. become a, how fast and quickly it became a, like, what do you even want to call fentanyl? Like a... I didn't, not a uh, pandemic, but like epidemic. Yeah, I, yeah, I would say it's a epidemic for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's God knows how many people it's killing, and no one seems to really care about the cause. But yeah, smoking, smoking have my life other ways. Mm -hmm. Free coke, I want to go smoke. Wow, five star. That's it will be all right. But you can't tell. Uh, it seems tri you can't tell weed smokers to stop because they think they know better they think it's perfectly fine yeah same so. as that uh, uh pen or whatever you call that thing you were talking about the uh the electronic smoking thing or whatever vape you know you can't tell people to stop that because they think they know better and they just figure it's not going to do anything but yeah eventually you know. everything catches up to you so yeah i mean i don't know the people that smoke weed they say they're not addicted but then there they are relying on it for... Yeah, and man, I'll tell you, like, in my journeys in life, I could swear I could point out a, a long-time life weed smoker when I would run into them, uh, whether at work or anywhere. They just had a slower... A slower... Their tongue's more, hanging out of their mouth? Yeah, they had a more dazed response to everything in life. It just wasn't... You can tell that, They yeah, weren't sharp. You can tell the lifelong smokers. I are, think so. The kids that grew up smoking weed in high school, yeah, just kinda... they just they weren't sharp, yeah, you know, a little dull. That's okay. Oh wow, holy but, smoke! <sighs> two to three ounces alone in a month. Oh wow, wow. a little bit yeah. of to do hucha. You know, in my family, it was alcoholism when I grew up, uh, and that and and my uncles and grandparents and there. I mean, it that's what it was: alcoholism, uh, alcohol, and. Uh, um, so I was, you know, like a young guy drank all the time and, um, but I was probably 20 years old, 21 years old. And, and, uh, I just remember between sports and stuff, having to drinks and stuff. And even at work, we all drank. Um, and then, uh, at 20 or 21, I just said, Hey, the hell, this is kind of like becoming too much it's the middle of the afternoon and i'm gonna have a beer or a couple of beers while i'm playing tennis for no reason and i just said okay no i'm not gonna drink during the day and and not as many nights during the week hmm. but a couple of beers during tennis sounds like a good time <laughs> yeah well it was Until just that it was it. every day but yeah every day would be a, a little much but yeah i was a little cautious too because i didn't want to repeat what was in the family yeah there's always a good reason not to when you have a new example good yeah good for you five star to pick up on these five um hmm. good for you for quitting uh quitting of anything is extremely hard so yeah i mean you know what was this <laughs> holy smokes one and a half liters Holy smokes. I don't know how much that would convert to either. She likes to throw down. Wow. -wee. She likes to throw down. Well, fucking. My sister came into my room last night while I was playing Resident Evil. So, drunk out of her fucking. Oh. <laughs> that, I mean, she's young, 20 or whatever. Yeah, so, yeah. she's in that but, party stage. Yeah. But. I'm not saying it's a problem. As long as it gets over. Yeah. You know? Yeah. As long as it doesn't last, that's the main thing. And you make it through those formative years alive. That's the other main thing. Yeah, there's a lot of incidents that come with. But, I mean, we grew up with, or, you know, me and, ben, me and Benjamin grew up with a guy 
I mean, he broke pretty much every drinking rule possible, and he's hasn't killed anyone or gotten himself killed. So, yes, I mean, it's sometimes it just unbelievable. I don't know, luck of the luck of the Irish, I guess you could say. Yeah, so, it's, it is luck. Whatever but, I work. Wow, for see Forzel. That's like, and that's the thing nowadays. Like, I mean, everybody just assumes it's totally okay to be stoned all the time. Mind you, I guess you know it's just a new day, new age. Because probably wasn't that long ago where everybody was drunk at work. I know we used to be. Um, yeah, it kind of went from like coming to school drunk to coming to school high. It's yeah, like the new like rebellious. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. The thing is, is thing. you know. Drinking was wrong, as the world is, you know, kind of being told. And we know then being stoned is wrong. So one wrong doesn't make a, another right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's not like, oh, well, you drank, so we need to smoke weed. It's like, okay, it was stupid. So you already know it's dumb, but you're going to do it anyway. Yeah. Right? Just to kind of rebel or something, I guess. Yeah. It's like, people... you know, when I was young, I did a lot of dumb things and lived to survive unbelievably. Um, and, uh, just cause I did them doesn't mean it's okay for my kids to do them because I know it was dumb. Do as I say, not as I do. Holy smokes. That's unbelievable. Everybody's high and you're in grade eight. Seriously? I remember grade seven, some wow. guy getting caught. That's, <clears throat> I mean, I remember you get the. Oh, 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 like, well, actually, I don't even know, but there was the odd, real rough out of the blue, and the person did it for attention, I'm sure. Uh, Might have smoked weed. Yeah, I'm sure. But that was way back in the mid 70s. People still do it to have a little bit of a whatever reputation and shit. But yeah. I don't know. How's it so accessible? Weed in Canada is legal, but I mean, there's so many people. I mean, in British Columbia, it's like, I don't know, everywhere. everywhere. Everyone's growing it. Everyone has it. Everyone, everywhere selling. There's stores, like candy stores. Like, they're everywhere with everything. Yeah, our small town, we just left hell. There was probably five, five weed stores, and, and that was 2,500 people. <laughs> if, yeah, five or more stores. And yeah. It's like, and That's half, BC them, for you. half of them didn't ask for ID. It's just like letter rip like who gives a shit yeah yeah you want to buy a, a legal amount yeah go for it you want to go sell the children sure it's great to say wow yeah it's super easy now but there was always like kids parents in high school that was growing it and like yeah they'd, that... they'd even like offer the group of kids when you're going out like hey take a fucking bag or some some doobies and have a good night i just like age hey, man I'm yeah. out here trying to fucking. Yeah, yeah. It's parents promoted or seem to promote it, it, here, in, you know, where we live in Western Canada. It's kind of hippie area, I think. And uh, parents promoted smoking weed way more than in the old days. Parents did not promote drinking as much. That's for sure. Yeah, it's like parents here think smoking's healthier than drinking. <laughs> yeah, I think they just. Yeah, they. Seem to be okay with weed. Mm -hmm. They say higher, safer to high or bored. Yeah, cops can't tell. That's for sure, unless you can smell it. I guess, or I guess if your eyes are. But still, they need something factual. That's yeah. all discretion. So yeah, I don't know. They can search your car if they smell weed. I think is yeah. Like, they can always say pretend they did in Canada. A cop can have zero suspicion and breathalyze you, and you have to comply. Yes. Yeah, you true. can't say no, no matter what the situation yeah. is, or you he can charge you with an impaired. Yeah, yeah, which is crazy, which is nuts. Yeah, I think it's crazy. It gives them carte blanche to actually pull you over and do anything they want here yeah. in Canada. They can shove a thumb up your ass, and you have to yeah. say yes, sir. Yeah, it's like that's true. Yeah. So, yeah, um. Smell stays, yeah. Eight, eight stores here. Well, yeah, wow. that's the thing about smell, right? It's like you walk into a house that people have smoked into for 20 years. Ugh. You could smell that for yeah, another 20 years. It's gross. The with, cigarette smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Like without anyone dope. smoking in it. So. Yeah. Yeah, when I grew up, 
I don't know. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Yeah, our house reeked of cigarettes because my dad smoked. Well, just before he passed away, let's say within 10 years of him passing away, he was up to four packs of cigarettes a day. And in your house, your walls were just yellow. How much was it in a pack? Is it still the same? 25. 25? Yeah, 25. It's so bad. 100 cigarettes a day? Yep. He wow. was so, so many. I remember him telling me that finally, before he, just before he died, um, just he couldn't even keep up with how many. Like he just wasn't lost track conscious. Whatever. Yeah, he lost track of it. Jeez. He'd light one up and he'd go to put it in the ashtray and he already had one in the ashtray. Wow. Yeah. That's chain smoking. Yeah. Why'd they vent cigarettes? You know what? I think, I think people smoking has been around since we lived in tribes. Well, smoking, it's just tobacco. It's natural. Yeah, but I mean... A tobacco plant is natural, right? So they farm it and then... Yeah, yeah. You and then, eat it, rub it, like people, oh. like you test what to do with it. And they're like, oh, fuck it, we'll smoke it. So it's like, I think cigarette, like tobacco has been, been smoked since First Nations, no? Like, yes. Well, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, sweet wheat, sweet grass. Yeah. Um, yeah, they've been smoking dope. Ev well, every, every tribe has smoked something yeah. over history. Yeah. Uh, they find, I don't know, I think it's just something... Just as a, a social community, that's what I think smoking and drinking has always been. They realized it can help with, I guess, taking the edge off or something. Yeah. And then, and then companies decided to make them more and more addictive and add more and more chemicals. And Yeah, modern-wise. It just kind of fell out of the hands of the innocence of tobacco, like smoking a cigar. Like It, it turned into oh, wow. just factory. Yeah. Yeah, there's just big profits here. Yeah, just but, money, just margins. Yeah. They realize that they can get away with it. Yeah, I, I can't stand. I go for a walk here and I can smell 50 feet away. Somebody's smoking a fatty and it's so god darn strong. Mm -hmm. Smoking a fatty. Yeah, it just stinks. Hate it. Yeah, I'm not you a know? fan of the smell of dope. But. Yeah, and then I look and the cocksucker is my age. Yeah, that's the craziest part. Yeah, and I'm just like... going, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> like, you know, you should be drinking a beer. But Yeah, you pussy. Yeah, so exactly. Fuck. It's like, obviously, you're not a tough guy from the prairies. You're <laughs> some coastal wimp. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, it's a weird one. But I'm also just too cheap, so. Well, like... that's the other thing, too. I uh, Actually, I never knew, but I... I had I always thought it was so expensive, so I never ever wanted to buy it. Yeah, like weed, I never buy because expensive, and then alcohol, it's just kind of a casual thing that expensive. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Another expensive thing, so I don't go crazy on alcohol either. Yeah. I mean, I saw how expensive it was just from working at restaurants, so I know how fast it adds up and shit. So, food so and we, alcohol. Yeah. But, so we drink coffee instead. Yeah, so we have our, our coffees. Which, you got to admit, is addictive. True. You know? I'm it's... not me until my coffee. Yeah. And then I'm not me after. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, there's always a social aspect to it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of it brings people together. Like, there was a shed. Some kid in high school, everybody would go to his house and sit in the shed and smoke dope. Or, oh, really? Like, have beers. and So, I mean... Oh. That part's, you know, it was yeah. it was a good excuse to get together. But other than half the people just laid there staring up at the ceiling because they yeah. were so high they couldn't move. But yeah, but there'd be like guys like me or whatever that go and just hang out and don't fucking yeah. Well, if you yeah. have like a couple, right? But not everybody was capable of it. Or well, I don't know about smoking. Sometimes I just go with a few to. beers and hang out. But, yeah. yeah, you know, yeah, that was. I'd rather sip something than smoke something. I think is how i'd rather but yeah. everyone's different yeah so one makes you piss the other makes you cough yeah, yeah. so i don't know but it all makes you mm -hmm. over he has a beer fridge or his mom would buy his own beer ah. wow sounds like william what he has a beer fridge yeah or his mom would buy his own beer <laughs> sounds mom like him mom only buys my beer whenever she feels like it and I'm not going to say no. Six days? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's inked up. A wee bit, eh? 
Not many, though. I've only got those and... Gramps is inked. One here and one here. Yeah, you got your, uh, your badges. Yeah. Your medals. Medal yeah. of Honor. But, um, I don't know, six days? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's nothing. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Just don't pick at it. I yeah, if you... Yeah, yeah. I love, I love the idea of picking at it. Yeah. I only picked at a couple that were, like, loose, but... I always went like this. I didn't pick. I just kind of went like yeah, this. Yeah, just try to get some of it to flake off. Yeah, just to uh, kind of get that itch away. And if I mean, it flaked, it flaked. We can do put moisturizer on it. You can rub it like that lightly and then, or just smack it. Light, like, yeah, light, like too. little smacks. Yeah, just little, that's right. Is what you're supposed to do, I think, if oh, okay. it's really bad. But another mine were like crazy itchy, maybe because they're not that big. But yeah, I was lucky. I kind of wanted more tattoos, but I don't yeah, know. I'll just, wait for now. Yeah, I've settled. Yeah. I don't know if I'll get any. I was going to get another, but I think I'm done. Happy as is? Yeah, I think so. Not going to get a head tattoo? Nope. <laughs> I should should get something up there. There's people that get fake hairline. At, like, really? Like dots, yeah. Holy crap. People are committed. What? Mm -hmm. So you get like this? Yeah. Get, but they fill it all in? Get the Dracula, yeah. Hey, gee, that's crazy, man. Yeah, I'm not really... Head tattoo? At that point, just fucking let it go. But some people yeah. are desperate about to have a hairline or... I guess, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I've seen girls with uh, eye uh, things, eyelash. Eyebrows. I it makes more sense for that than a dude yeah, getting... Yeah. Like, I'd say. Yeah. At least girls... I don't know. Girls always have that beauty aspect that they want to uphold for the most part. And eyebrows are <laughs> more normal. Five story, yes. There you go. See, as soon as the topic comes up with tattoos, it's like another addiction. Tattoos are addicting. Yeah, you always kind of like eh, maybe one more, and you for know, whatever reason, I don't know why it's especially once you start, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get your first tattoo, and you're like, well, what's one more? Yep. Like I have another idea, but I don't know. I'll wait. I mean, I can wait. It's not like I. I remember when I was uh, at autopsies. And uh, people with tattoos would be on the table, and they just didn't look right anymore. Oh, tattoos on yeah. the autopsy table? on the dead guy or girl or whoever. But they just didn't look, I don't know. So I, I mean, kind of some of the old military guys, it looked the same because they were already those worn-out green tattoos. Like you saw, like they didn't look like anything anyway when they were alive. It was just mush. It was just mush. So it still looked as classic, but... Hmm. Was that ever outline or just green, like the slop? Uh, I was generally just sloppy hmm. green. Yeah. Yeah. By those days. Yeah, I've always wondered what it'll look like. Like it, the guys that have the full sleeves. Yeah. And that are like super fine detail. Like the they've got wolves and clocks and moons and clouds. Yeah. And, you know, it's all just like. It, it, the, like the tattoo doesn't necessarily look bad, but the skin color has gone to such a gray kind of a yellow gray yellow oh the actual skin yeah the dead skin yeah it just it just well i guess it just doesn't look as cool as cool yeah. yes yes. your awesome dragon that you got tattooed yeah. 50 yeah. years ago yeah, doesn't it just look doesn't look sick. as sick yeah yeah and you pull down his pants he's got an elephant tattoo on, <laughs> on his dick well you know i say there was this guy he was like he was a bad bad drug dealer and uh from what the cops told me, they, he was like crazy anger problems. And he was big. He was just a muscular. Anyway, he OD'd. And uh, uh, the tattoos he had were the most evil. His whole freaking body had balls, everything covered. I mean, that guy had anything tattooed. It was, and it was all evil. He had swastikas. He had evil clowns. He had... Oh man, it was unbelievable. Jesus. Yeah, just he was just a rip. mean guy. Yeah. Well, no happy guys getting swastikas tattooed on him. No, so, well, that's like, true. The cops were happy he was dead. You gotta have some grudge. Yeah, yeah, they were happy he was dead. Is he the one with the elephant tattoo? It could have been actually. I tried to. I. It's been so long now. It, I think that's it where sounds, I got that from. Uh, yeah, I don't want to say it, but it could have been. There's one guy. He had an elephant. His dick was the elephant trunk. Oh or no, I can't remember honestly. No. Yeah, 
I'm not sure. I, but... I honestly wouldn't want to say, but... Yeah, yeah. Who knows what. But I meant he... bad enough to have all those. Yeah, he was covered in weird tattoos, so it wouldn't surprise me if I mentioned that before. Yeah. My memory of you was years past. It is weird how people can put uh, a bunch of just different, like, dark... Yeah, real demonic, dark. like yeah. I mean, cover this, your body in that for like yeah. I don't know. This guy was obviously really dark, mm -hmm. you know. Because anyway, he OD'd on. Uh, actually, it was uh, Connells, and he had the tinfoil. Oh, he had tinfoil. Yeah, he oh. was he was uh, heating it up and whatever to get the heroin. The heroin or the cocaine? Her nope. No, I, I forget you, what it was. I forget the. I shouldn't say no, no. Because you can turn cocaine into crack. It, it's crystallized. Yeah. When you but Tylenol like, twos, you can get, you can get the. What is it? Wait. Again, it's been too long for me. But uh, I forget the medicine that's in it. That people want it. Codeine. Oh yeah, there's codeine in. But if you heat it, whatever, then you can turn it into its basic component, which I think is. Could be cocaine, but I think it's heroin actually. But mm -hmm. anyway, so then you put it in a needle and shoot it. Yeah. And that's how he died anyway. He had a needle hanging out of his wherever it was. <laughs> <laughs> wherever a needle a needle maybe. He wasn't using his arms or his feet anymore because all of them had scarred up and his so he was using different areas. So you can kill veins through injecting. Yeah, yeah. Just scar them all up. He was scarred everywhere. Hmm. But is run out. afternoon maybe uh maybe at the end of the stream or something kale i'm not too sure we'll see fashion <laughs> look at that fashion oh fashion oh frago oh fashion oh frago i got uh <laughs> Borzel, that's funny i got a couple hours further into resident evil but i didn't i i called it before i got too late so see is where it, i am tonight is it a big game nine hours of gameplay oh, okay. for me probably 10 because there's okay. puzzles and stuff that oh like uh, i see there's find a hidden puzzles. key yeah. hidden item yeah and uh, i hate game puzzles yeah so game like, puzzles sometimes are freaking hard especially when there's the pressure on because my sphincter is fucking i i did try and help william on the porsche barzel yes yeah he helped me a lot it was a lot of fun i was i was stuck for a long time but uh, he kind of got uh, me past, like, Roblox, so it was very good. Maybe not. That's okay. That's all right, Fashion. That's I, all right. I felt the same way when I wrote tests. Yeah. There's so many tests I'd go in and just be like, well, see how fast I can yeah. finish this. Yeah, or just be like, I'm hooped, but I have to write it anyways. The worst is studying for a test, and then you look at the first oh. question, and you're like, oh, well may have studied the wrong chapter <laughs> yeah or like ooh, 49 on my math test that was me you're in college forzel forzes yeah okay yeah oh um oops 49 in math eh ouch what were we talking about uh we were talking about uh dead people oh yes a good topic Anybody, any dead people questions? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like I said, he, my dad, uh, Papa, was a, a corner. So if you guys have any weird, random, curious things that make you nervous or... Yeah, if you're wondering about what happens to you when you die or what happens with the, what any... the establishment does with your body. <laughs> yeah, what the, yeah, yeah. Do they pin you up and suddenly you're a yeah. you're a Democrat? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next thing you know, you're voting Democrat. You're like, what the hell? I didn't sign up for that. Yeah. What they do in the fridge with you, or? Yeah, I don't know. It is, it is pretty weird, but I always find it weird how people, how you, uh, when you get incinerated or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. How okay. you can just shove a body in a furnace and just fucking obliterate it. Yeah. That is weird to me. I yeah. Just, but, I don't know. Yeah. And then you open it up come. an hour or two later, and it's nothing but dust, ashes. Yeah. 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 That is weird, ashes. isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, Willis. Wait, what the hell? 
Another Willis, Willis here? Where? Follow the stream. I'm the real Willis. I'm the guy. Thank you for the follow. Look at that. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Um, I don't know. Making a lecture after a test. Oh, wow. I <laughs> failed grade nine science. I failed. You know what? Uh -huh. I was going to say, I think I failed. Actually, I don't know. I think I failed grade nine French or I just dropped it. One of the two. Yeah, I dropped grade 10 uh, chemistry. Yeah, I hate chemistry. A lot of a lot of uh, classes I didn't enjoy. But history I liked. Loved history. PE. -E. We were not math and science kind of people. I wish I was. I wish I'd had math skills, yeah. But that was just our... Um, that was the girls in the family. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. They're the, the math. The three boys. We were all history, geography, maybe. I don't know. I was biology, history, <laughs> we law. Were, we were biology, all right. Yeah, different way. Yeah. <laughs> Doing a little bit of soul searching. Yeah. Um, yeah, whenever it didn't come to science or math, that's what we enjoyed. Yeah. I mean, some science is cool, but the way that school teaches it, it, was, it yeah, usually yeah. sucks. Physics I found but, really, but well, physics and chemistry I found boring as hell. I feel like you have to have a good teacher. Like you see those clips online of like a physics teacher like destroying half the class, like from yeah. a lesson or whatever. Yeah, I was like oh okay, like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But a lot of our teachers just sat at their desk and like so like wow this 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 yeah. Like, our our physics teacher looked honestly pretty close to Einstein. Had that, and he walked around with a lab coat all the time, and he was he yeah yeah he wasn't a, he didn't explain well, but yeah well that's never ideal then hey no, no no you had to be a natural to do it took advanced math holy smokes holy cripe good for you man five star that's that's really that's really good holy not us no Uncle Mike was like that. That's true, yeah. He was a... Yeah, my brother. He was a smart guy. Very smart. Yeah. Somehow we just didn't get that. He took the national, um, like, math exam one morning. He was hung over grade 10 or whatever, and uh, they told him he has to write it out of the blue, and he wrote it, and, and he got third in... Well, that was provincial, sorry, and he got third in the province. On a math test? Yeah, like hung advanced? over out of his head, yeah. Huh. It, it's like uh it was i don't know what the hell they were but they like competitive ratings or something like that i can't remember hmm. so that's not bad he was yeah you know he was good he is good at math he yeah. still uses his math actually he uses his math in his career all the time yeah i guess yeah he actually put it to use yeah you know he uses it all the time I forget what it is trigonometry or something he said he uses constantly Ugh, i hate trig yeah yeah he uses it all the time hmm. yeah I guess you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, yeah, come in handy for him. Yeah, when it helps put food on the table. Yeah, but I got an 80 in typing. I use it all the time. I barely, I guess I do type. I was going to say I barely type, but I mostly just hit keys to make my character go forward. <laughs> yeah, well, good that you do study in college. College is a different kind of... It costs money. It does cost money. Yeah. But it's a different kind of all game in terms of yeah. the work. But Yeah. I mean, I did online university where Google was just kind of right there. So Yeah, I could not do online. That's tough. Nope. Yeah. I, I used to have my Zoom classes on, like, my one monitor. Yeah. Like, I'd be in class, and then on this screen, I'd be playing Warzone. Or Call <laughs> I'd be playing Call of Duty because... <laughs> like i'm like i'm supposed to pay attention to a fucking 9 a.m lecture <laughs> having coffee playing call of duty oh like, my god that would be yeah i couldn't and i couldn't do that anyway and then test no time way. i just copy and paste yeah just like, i could never do allegedly online. allegedly i would never cheat but allegedly i would <laughs> just use google and just oh. copy all of my questions and see what the answer is by the internet online i would have been on there for the answers well no they ways about it some schools have like um browser blockers so oh, you can't go on it oh. or like they lock your screen so you can't like leave 
like oh, okay. onto a different page. Yeah. But my school is like, we trust you to not go on it. I'm like, Sheesh. I'm like, uh huh. Yeah. We trust you with no camera. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. You right. and everybody else that sit behind the camera yeah. going, yeah, no like, problem. Sure, sure. I guess there's gonna be a lot of doctors that don't know what the fuck they're doing. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Their first like two years are gonna be just write offs. It is all but... trial and error anyway. I think, but. As long as you pay attention to your last two years of medical school. Yeah. Where the where when you at, do where wards. You're actually, yeah. yeah, where you do wards. Where you're actually doing stuff yeah. and not just getting credits. Yeah. Because, I mean, a lot of university is just credit filling. Well, they did, yeah. I remember years ago, probably 10 years ago, when they caught all, they, they did a review of how many university med students actually cheated uh for their med exams and it was unbelievable but it was at least half that actually admitted to cheating and said it was an ongoing an issue all the time and actually it might have been even in the states it might have been the entire north america but it was widespread just and it was actually just an accepted practice it wasn't a big deal yeah well i so, mean everyone's gonna cheat whenever it's been uh whenever it's available Almost an hour since you've been on, or us? Us. Oh, us? Yeah. We're at wow. 57 minutes already. 2020 online cloud woke up, joined Zoom, and went back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I did that too for really? us. Really? Yeah. They can see you? No, but if you're the last one in the call, they're like, hello, hello. Like, oh. I got caught um... doing that too, because I also just on my, <laughs> even just on my phone, I joined, and yeah. then just like, put it down, fell asleep. And then next thing you know, it's just me in the classroom. The oh. teacher left though, he probably just didn't give a shit, but. Wow. It was like sociology or something. I was, it was so dumb. Wow. I had to take like huh. sociology, like fucking uh, like four classes I didn't give a shit about just cause I need credits. Wow, I can't and even imagine that. It was like fucking however much money just cause they want. Wow. Not paying up for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i took um university german oh right yeah. yeah i took a semester of of german language and, did no, and, and don't know a thing of it no yeah. i just copy and pasted all my work into google translate allegedly wow but in yeah. game in game of course but um and we even were there for a short time but i didn't learn a damn thing no yeah german i mean yeah i I was a little bit of a silly boy when it came to actually learning stuff. So. Yeah. Uh, but I did my work around. And then yeah. it came to the verbal, like, oral exams, where, like, the my oh, German professor. Oh, like, yeah. All right, have a conversation with me. Oh, like, wow. By a, a full semester, you should be able to have this basic conversation with me. Wow. And we got into a, a call, and he's like, all right, da 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 I was like, mm, I got nothing. He's like, <laughs> I had, like, a 30% on it. I was like... <laughs> sorry man if I can it's just not coming That's, to me today yeah no, I think you gotta live there oh, I mean unless some people are born to be good with linguistics but I gotta live there I mean if I actually did it maybe I would have been able to get some of it but yeah yeah like I said I was just copy and pasting yeah and yeah. I know like three sentences in French and I remember that from grade seven textbook That's all I remember the yeah first page yeah, French is another one that not a lot of people really want to learn French out here. No, unless you're in Quebec. It's almost like four. I, I, yeah, people don't really want to learn it. No. I mean, we do need a second. A lot of uh, universities require two languages just as oh up to a certain grade, of course. But yeah, I was kind of. That's why I was taking German because I needed um, like a language up to a certain uh, oh, okay. uh, level, yeah. which was, again, silly, because yeah. what's the point of me knowing German as a fucking teacher in British Columbia? But Holy right. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Well, all I those, think, oh, go ahead. I would say all those European kids, they all speak fucking three, four languages. Yeah, they do. Yeah they're they're made to speak well in germany you have to speak german english and another one like uh, of your choice so yeah, it's pretty crazy unbelievable i mean we do none of that here so i mean i guess if you speak german and english there's a lot of languages you can choose from that are close to your you know perhaps 
because there's Dutch and yeah. uh, Austria and like all those places that are really close. Russian. But... Yeah. You want to learn Russian? That'd be a good language. Apparently, it's very hard. Learning Russian. Yeah. You applying for the military here? What? Yeah. yeah. What are you going to do? Skip country? Guy's on his way to Moscow as we speak. <laughs> it, apparently, it's a gorgeous country. So yeah, it, it 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 has a very unique sound. It's you know yeah whatever it whatever it is very it's I don't like, know yeah I'm not guttural but yeah it's a cool language it'd be neat to learn and matches where they are yeah geographically kind of, speaking yeah I mean Polish Russian Ukrainian they have that just Eastern Bloc uh, yeah they have a sound that I presume they're all sister languages. Oh, really? You like the Russian buildings? Holy smokes. Hmm. When we were in Germany, when we were in Moscow, you could tell, like... Or in Berlin? Yeah, Berlin. Sorry, Moscow. Jesus. <laughs> we, when we were we in Berlin, Moscow. not Moscow, you could just see the difference between the uh, Western and Russian-era buildings. Yeah. Well, like, right where the wall was. The, yeah, the Berlin Wall. The Berlin Wall. Eastern yeah. Berlin was all Soviet buildings that were just blocks. Yeah. With like very dull colors, dull like clay looking colors, yeah, and like, then the left was all the western, so yeah, they like turquoise blue, really dull, and like shades of uh burgundy and shit, yeah, like, very dull colors, yeah, I don't know why, but I guess that's just their thing, yeah, I'm sure the wilderness is gorgeous because I mean, you do have well, they're the same to us, kinda, yeah, it is. A lot of Russia is very similar to Canada in yeah. terms of um, the land and shit. So yeah, we're on the same uh, um, line or whatever. In the, place in wrapping around the in globe. the world. Yeah, 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 exactly. Especially the more north you go, the more yeah. wild and uh, arctic. Mosquitoes. They got the same mosquito and black fly problem we do. Oh, yeah. like in the north and stuff. So, yeah, right. Just. Must just be globe. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess it's just. You wouldn't yeah. think any of that stuff would live through those winters, those extreme winters. But... It is weird how they find a way to survive, but yeah, I guess that's the way of the world. Yeah. All right. Well, we're at an hour. Wow, we just like that. We're at an hour. Fast all right, count. you guys. It was good chatting with you all. Mm -hmm. Another day, another coffee. Yeah. But I'm, we're about to end the stream, and I'm about to make another one. So. <laughs> Okay, you guys enjoy your Monday. See you later.